Saying goodbye is always hard, but for military families, it really is a part of their lives because their loved ones can often be deployed. News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstad was at Volk Field today where the 128th Air Control Squadron is preparing to deploy to the Middle East. Yeah, today, family, friends, and Governor Tony Evers gathered to give a warm send-off for these 90 service members. A bittersweet day for these families, but a moment these men and women live for. A journey can't begin without saying goodbye. And to show that everyone's here to support them. A bittersweet day for Jody Gardner, who is saying goodbye to her youngest son, senior airman. Yeah. <laughs> Say your Reiku. He's, uh, he's my baby. Reiku is one of 90 service members stationed with the 128th Air Control Squadron based at Volk Field. I want to tell you how grateful I am for your service both to our state and to our nation. They'll soon be off to the Arabian Peninsula on a mission for six months. We are really excited for him because it is a great opportunity, but a little bit scared at the same time. Support fills this room. Our Air National Guard could not deploy without the hard work and support of all of the family members. Something just as vital as the training Reiku received over the past three years. It doesn't matter if it's my mom or my friend's mom, they're all supporting us just the same. The squadron's director, Lieutenant Colonel Cindy Bergman, has deployed three times. It never gets easier. When I told my youngest, who's eight years old, that I was deploying, her first comment to me was, well, who's going to tuck me in at night? For Reiku, this mission fulfills yes, sir. his dream. Uh, I'm definitely, uh, you know, you sign up for this. I signed up three years ago, and now it's finally coming true, you know, and it's just, it feels like my, like, work kind of paid off in a way that I finally made it to where I wanted to be. He chose this path even though it means leaving someone behind. It feels great to be a part of something that's a lot bigger than myself. Their pride will make the journey with them. I'm proud to wear the uniform. Fly it proudly knowing that Wisconsin is behind you every single day. Along with the desire to prove themselves. Show that I'm ready, like I can do my job, I can do it well. While their family stays back, ready to welcome them home. Now the 128th is expected to return to Wisconsin in November. Oh, thanks, Jordan. This is the squadron's seventh deployment since 9-11. Their last was back in 2017. Brings back memories. Yeah, military That's spouse a, right yeah, here. Yeah. Um, and when Benny deployed the last time, I was a hot mess. <laughs> like, couldn't stop crying, and like the seasoned spouses were like, see ya. Yeah, um, yeah. It, you know, there are so many emotions because you honestly don't know if you're ever going to see that person again. Right. There's a, you always take that risk, but the, your community back at home, they support these families and they support those houses. So if you know a spouse or kids that are left behind, just call in. And, and spouses know that it is okay to serve cereal for breakfast or for <laughs> dinner. It's okay. Everyone <laughs> will be okay if you need that break. Absolutely. A sacrifice on both parts mm -hmm. there. Yeah.